SO here bringing you a new series. Um, I'm going to be buying all the endings to the map such as that one there, um, activating the DNA machine, um, as well as the little easter eggs involved on some maps to get to the Bible ending. This one's very easy. All you do is come into this room, find the machine and save up for it. So here we are. We're just going to hold this room with a good method I've came up with. Uh, high rounds it won't work obviously but um, we've got the shotgun here as well as the golden ticket, the deagle. Now they both use high powered ammo and not much ammo so our ammo regeneration perk is doing wonders. So I use the shotgun, it refills the deagle, I pull the deagle out and then it refills the shotgun and so on and so forth. I haven't yet run out of ammo. So you can see here we have a few teleporter zombies teleporting from outside directly next to you or behind you but with self-defense it just kills those, that zombie so as long as there's not two of them or three of them at the same time you should be fine. It just takes care of them really. So if it gets a little bit hectic we're just gonna run a little bit of a circle through here gets a little bit tight the teleporter zombies and the invisible ones make it hard to sort of guess and predict where they're going to end up but you can see here on the zombie counter that there's no zombies left and it makes it very easy to tell how many are going to be there or yeah so you can see our shotgun is just slowly refilling as well as the deagle is refilling now. So we're just going to use the shotgun until it gets its max ammo up. And with fast reload and stopping power, the golden ticket is one shot kill up until I don't know when, so I haven't tested that out yet. It is an unreal weapon. I don't know if it's fully automatic in all maps or what the go is, but it is still sick. So here we're just going to hold this window, they only spawn from in front, of course the teleporters can affect you from behind, but what do you do, this is as easy as it can get. So you can see they got behind me there, I think two of them that time, but self defense took care of them. So you can see the shotgun, if it, you panic, you can just sort of spray it and push them back enough, especially because I have the deagle in reserve. So they're all running quite fast at me now. And we've got one zombie left, there we go. So, this round I should get it. Oh, I should get it, people. So, here we go. How many zombies we got? We got 86 zombies spawning, I think, which is pretty ridiculous. I don't know if it's the same on every map or like for Black Ops or whatever, or the custom maps. Uh, I love the zombie counter. So here we are. The shotgun still should do quite a good job. You can see here it just pushes them back so good, collapse three or four zombies at a time. Oh, see we got a bit red there, we don't want to risk too much. But the deagle, you can see the deagle's just a beast of a gun. I'll just start letting it loose here, just using it fully automatic. And you can see it's just holding off the zombies. Now I'm just going to go through a teleporter. I could have kept the circle going, but I just didn't want to risk it. I know this is an easy way just to give yourself a break and sort of start back at where you were at the start of the round, but with only the amount of zombies left. So we come back now, nearly with enough to buy this machine. We jump through the window, and we're just going to start here again. The deagle's going to clean most of them up. Oh, and we get a max ammo, so that has assured me my final ending, buying the ending to this map. 
So I've never done this before. Here we go. All right. The Megatrex is on his way to save you. Bummer. King Kong just ninja kicked his ass. Better luck next time. So there we go. That was a Bible ending to the map higher. Um, check out my channel for more of the series as well as all the zombie tutorials you need. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe.